What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video where last time we worked on this building right here by giving it a good old facelift in decoration and design. But you must be wondering what have I been doing since then? Well, I've been hard at work. If you've been watching the Twitch streams, you will know. But for you guys here on YouTube, we've done a lot. We've done a lot. But in that time as well, Update 8 has been released, which I've been extremely busy working on some other things regarding Satisfactory. But let's get down to what I've done with this save. So first up, as you know, we was working on this building to make crystal oscillators. Why? Because we needed radio control units just for future projects. Because one, we want to build a new power plant, which is going to have a lot of blenders. So. I went and just did that. So what I did is in this building, I just added a few manufacturers to basically make the new radio control units. But you must be wondering where I got the items from. Well, one, all of this is to make crystal oscillators. But it's not the only item we need as well, because we need aluminium casing and we also need computers. So the casings we already know we're making. And obviously that's all being made over in the aluminium building. And this all goes into this train station right here, which it's got eight single locomotive trains with one freight car onto it. So that's eight trains with one freight car. And obviously that makes its way onto the highway all the way back over to the quartz building. And then once back here, it arrives at this station right here, where it then unloads the casings and then heads into the building. But before I continue, obviously update eight has dropped, which has disabled mods. So you're gonna see some things like with inconsistent lighting, you're gonna see nighttime, daytime, evening, all this kind of stuff. So I apologize for some shots being at nighttime, some shots being at daytime. I can't control that right now until the mods are fixed so I can use the sky. UI mod so I can keep consistent daylight. So with the casings now going into the manufacturer upstairs, it's time to work on computers. And that is what this is doing right here. So we can see silica is coming into here, the crystal oscillators, but it's also outputting copy sheets, computers, circuit boards, and something else, which I can't remember because it's been a good old minute. But yes, it is going to be dark in here. So obviously I apologize for that, but that is because this building right here or this room was built underneath the quartz building right underneath the manufacturers. And this was built pre update eight. And what this is, is just a production line that makes computers. But we're utilizing the alternate crystal computer recipe, which as you know, crystal oscillators are being made upstairs. It just requires me to make circuit board. So all we need for that is obviously copper and silica. And the reason I say silica is because I'm using the alternate recipe, the silicon circuit board, which requires copper sheets and silica, like I just said. And obviously, if you've watched the previous videos, you will know I've already made silica within the quartz building here. But for those that are new, this right here is the quartz building. I shouldn't really call it the quartz building because it does a lot of things now. And it's located in the rocky desert right here. As you can see, our old water plant over there is doing work right now and yes we will need to extend onto that at some point so soon tm watch this space but also this building is making quite a few items now so maybe maybe we should turn this into our mega factory because i have plans serious plans i want to turn this or our mega factory i'm thinking about maybe adding it here and i want to make a city yes i want to make an like an industrial mega city and it's gonna be cyberpunk inspired it's gonna use the rails it's gonna use the under roads and then i want it to kind of go higher more vertical with more roads above that and i want to make it feel a little crazy but very organized but something you can literally just look around under and that is my goal i think that is my plan i want to make a mega industrial city where wherever you look there is something happening but anyway back to the story with all these items here i need copper so what i've done is i've utilized trucks and they enter right there like i said we're using different levels of levolution or is that a battlefield reference? That's a battlefield reference, right? Or what I should say is right here, you can kind of see a little bit of a network going on. On top, we have the track that routes over to the quartz. A layer underneath that is the highway. A layer underneath that is going to be the new train line, which I'm going to talk to you about super soon. And then here we have a truck route. Yes, we've now implemented trucks. And the trucks actually enter right here 
on the underfloor of the manufacturing floor. Ignore that window right there. That's where I've been entering and exiting. <laughs> so yeah, the trucks go into there, drop off the copper, and go on back and collect it. And like I said, it goes underneath the highway and it comes out at this location right here and then heads all the way down there and around to just next to that waterfall where it picks up the copper from the copper nodes. Where then the computers, the casings, and the oscillators all head here to the manufacturers to make the radio control units which then comes to this little temporary storage solution where it stores all of my items so as you can see radio control units in the well, english bits radio control units in there uh, computers um nothing because i think it's the line that's downstairs which is an overflow line and then we've got the uh, circuit boards and so on and so forth so all this is just the overflow of any items downstairs which do get sunk by the way like i said once them storage get full they head to these sinks right here just to keep uh well the belts moving and doing its thing and that's pretty much the work i've done in this area but we've done something else which is this right here and as you can tell this is my blueprinted highway, which most of you guys have now and been experimenting with. And I've seen a lot of your images over in Discord. Uh, so thank you for sharing them. And I'm not going to lie, you've made some pretty decent changes to this. So yeah, as you can see, I've now added the new power pylons to the highway. But I've not just done that. If we go down, I've added the new train line. And not just that, I've added a whole extension to the already built train line to the spire coast so i've made a new intersection right here off the already established highway which is based just outside of the quartz um, train collection station next to the northern forest <laughs> but as you know we already have a lot of trains on this on the lines already but i want to make a more high speed or more direct route for a train to get from a to b without stopping because as you know, the more trains on a line, the more times a train is going to stop at a signal. So this right here is going to be the future of our highways, which means this new design is what is going to replace this highway with. So I've got a lot of work to do to replace this highway to bring in the power pylons, which is going to distribute our power all the way around the world and integrating the new logic power switches. Well, I should say the priority power switches. So the power will go around our world via these and then the power that will be coming from underneath will be coming from that power pylon into said factory, let's say here for example but of course before it goes to the factory it'll go into the new priority power switch and then to the factory so if there's any form of power fluctuations or power outages that factory will turn off depending on the priority which by the way i would show you a reference but i just don't have it unlocked yet or not established one just yet but that's because i want to show you when I do it. So back to this highway. This highway, well, the underside of this highway is going to be for more express routes. So for example, a train going from the Spire Coast, going all the way down to the grasslands, it needs to get there spick and span, right? Spick and span? No. It needs to go there super sane, super speed. It just needs to be more direct. I'm just gonna, <laughs> it just needs to be more direct without it having the possibility of it stopping at any form of signals and waiting for any trains. So this top line from now on going forward with the series is going to be more of a short route. So this will go from this station to the factory that's over there. So there's gonna be more turns it's gonna access. The one down the bottom is gonna go from like the Spire Coast to the opposite side of the map. And there's gonna be zero turns on this track until it reaches down in well on the opposite side of the map really so that means when a train's moving from this side it's not going to stop due to any trains trying to turn onto that line and all that good stuff and once it does reach the opposite end it will then go on an up ramp to the top section where in case it does want to turn off somewhere it can do so the alterations i've made to this as you can tell i've obviously i've added a power tower to it now but also i've removed the hyper cannon one i wasn't using it it just wasn't functional for me but who knows i might use i say hyper cannon i mean the hyper tube but i've also removed the um the access to the zip line down here and the, there is a valid valid reason for that and that's because now i'm going to be zip lining on these just like that and that will go all the way along. But also, I've integrated the new lights down here, which is just the large, uh, well, the biggest signs we can use 
and then just made them like this. And for those wondering what color I used, that right there is the key code. The key code, the color code. And it creates this aesthetic right here. This then makes its way from the, uh, the highway that we already uh, had built all the way over to the Spire Coast. And as you can see, I've been a little busy over here as well, which is this right here. This is the start of the newly built power plant. This is going to take a month, maybe a two month to build. So I'm going to build it in sections just for you and you can get a flow of videos as well. So right here, we have a long ass train, which is basically just holding my supply so I don't have to keep running back to storage. And I've started placing down some refineries. And what you should know about this is this building right here is going to be an inside of building. It's not finished yet. If you want to see how I built all of this live, you can check me out over on Twitch, which the link will be at the top of the description right below the video. Or in case you can't watch the live streams, the VOD channel is now back up and running. And my uh, one of my moderators, Dragon Sniper, is now focusing highly on the VOD channels to make sure that they are going out consistently rates and yes we're not releasing them now when the video for that satisfactory video drops so you can see how i built this right now as this video drops like over on the VOD channel so go and check out that links in the description for that as well so within this building i'm making heavy oil residue and i've also got some blenders which is going to be making the diluted fuel which will go to the fuel generators to do what it needs to and within this building right here i'm only consuming two 600 crude lines and i'm going to be bringing in just over 18 crude oil lines to this location so imagine how big that will be but this design i have made within these doors just around here is my pride and joy and i'm not gonna lie even i'm hyped for what you're about to see because i'm so happy with how this design looks and well how it just looks and without further ado This right here is a prime example of satisfactory update 8 on Unreal Engine 5. Because look how beautiful this is. It's insane. It is insane. And yes, this is going to be the whole design aesthetics going throughout this building. And this is only for, well, two crude oil lines. One crude oil line going to these refineries here. Yep, these are refineries right here. I have clipped them through, but as you can see, it creates a different aesthetic towards the build and kind of creates something insane. And of course, the lights up there are just done by signs. The lights down here are done by signs and it's just done by signs. And yes, signs have finally been optimized. But let's go down here into these rooms. So let's make our way outside these doors and head into the next room. And this is going to be the hallway. So this right here is there's going to be a hallway that goes down here, which leads to the other rooms, which this refinery room right here will actually be duplicated along here. And this one right there is going to look just like that one. And then the downside of here is going to look a little different. I should really turn my torch on. But let's go back over here. And then I've started working on this right here. And I wanted something where I can see the belts and lights. And again, I'm just going to turn the light off again because it gives it a bit more perspective of what I'm trying to achieve, which this right here is just for the resin, which is coming out of these refineries. And these are going into this location, which will come down here and into a room down here to make plastic. And you must be wondering, yes, how are you bringing all the water over here? Because, well, one, you've got loads of water down there, but we're not going to utilize that. I like to be different. So as you know, I built a direct train line. And yes, that's going to go to the water plant to bring the water over here. And there's so many people in the comments going, this guy, he builds on water, but doesn't consume the water that's underneath the building. No, because it's too easy. <laughs> I've played this game for so long. I want to challenge myself. I want to do something different. And I think bringing in 30 to 50 trains from one side of the map to another side of the map, being recycled bottled water to send from A to B and then B back to A, it makes it so much better and a lot more worthwhile. But as you can tell, it's a little bit dark in here and it is a work in progress. So hence why it's a little bit dark. So this next room is where the heavy residue oil goes to, which is this. Well, this is the blender room. So this is where the fuel is going to go to. Well, the fuel, sorry, the residue. Uh, it's going to get mixed with water. And then this will make the fuel and then head into the fuel generators. And that's what two lines of crude oil is going to make you. 
And yes, these are overclocked to 200%. Otherwise, I'll be duplicating these machines uh, and we're going to have a lot more blenders, which is for the design aesthetic I'm going for, going to take up a lot more room. Because the way I want to do it is I want to make sure that refinery wing over here links directly onto this blender wing. And if we go back out this way and then do a left, we, we know that, that them refineries will get the same aesthetic and that means that this right here will be the blender room which will attach onto this because this wall here is temporary but if we go into the back of this, this right here is where the blenders are, this will be still here, this wall will be gone and the blenders will be along this line to produce the fuel from these refineries over here. And they'll have the walkway in the middle with more blenders on the right. So you can kind of see how it's just going to duplicate going down the line. So I'm super impressed with this building. It's super nice. It's super clean. And oh boy, does it look super good. And what I'm going to do is in a separate video, I'm going to break down this room for you so you can design this yourself or get some design ideas. So yes, I'm going to leave this video right here. I just wanted to drop this video as an update on what is going on. And yes, the next video, well, will be a design breakdown of this room so you can do it yourself and a little bit of a step-by-step -step guide kind of say. Then the one after that, I want to aim at producing and showing you guys how I'm going to do the belting, the piping, bringing in the trains, bringing in items, making some fuel and all that kind of good stuff. So check out my other content right here if you're interested in some of that. And as always, remember to like, subscribe and also leave a comment. And always keep bloody smiling. I'll see you in the next video.